Evening guys, Tal for Vapor again here. Um, going to do a quick review uh, for three juices of a company called um, Vape Wild. Their Twitter account is at Vape Wild. Their uh, website is www.vapewild.com. Um, I entered the competition a month ago for this juice, the Slow Mo. Um, received it on. It was waiting for me when I got back Saturday. I was expecting only one juice. I ended up getting seven juices. So two of those juices I will be giving away as a mystery prize, um, along with a mod stroke ripper box. Not sure in about two weeks when I get back from Glasgow. Um, quick information about the company: they're based in America. They um, their website uh, very easy to use. Do loads of different juices, different sizes. Have a look at their website. So the first one I'm going to review. Now a lot of people say this is their favourite, and I can understand why. I've been vaping it since Saturday. Is this one here? If you can see that, it is their butter beer. Um, it is a eighty twenty mix. Uh, uh, that's for the GPG 30 ml bottle. So this one, after I've just re-wicked it, I'm going to be using it on my new dun, 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 dun. Tango Tech 160 Twitbox. Um, to smell it, the description of it is if I can just pull it up, where's it going? Where's it going? Do that very well, did I? And then you just put it up on their website. What a beer juice. So the description of it. We took a trip on our Nimbus 2015 to meet the creator of Butterbeer from the three brewsticks in Hogsmeade to find a delectable treat for the holiday season. That's a really great description, guys. It looks on the picture like caramel and beer. Okay, so smell factor. There's a very nice subtle caramel. Not a very strong beer. Very nice subtle. So I've got this in my drip box. So I'll just give it a couple of squidges. I'm running it at seventy-five. And it's coming out at 0 0.22. You can see that on. Um, and here we go. That's nice. So for this one, that inhale, you get this smooth, creamy, toffee caramel. On the exhale, there's a, like a shandy taste. It's not an overbearing, it's, it's not a Kromenberg or a Carlsberg. It's just a nice... After a beery shandy taste, the caramel though, the, the toffee, the almost a buttery scotch. I got that Saturday, less than half left. Says to me, Is it a good vape? Yes, is it an all day vape? Definitely. 
would I order it again? 110%. That is a really nice face. I do like that one. So the next one is the one that I actually won. And it is... It is called Slow Mo. Uh, let's just try and find a description for that one. There we are. Okay, so. Product description. Uh, introducing April's mystery flavor. That's when I want it. Slow mo, slow it down with slow mo. A mix of juicy berries and ripe melon topped with rich, whipped rich cream. Try saying that when you're drunk. Try saying it when you're a bummy and sober. Um, you will enter a fourth dimension on deafy space and time with a sweeter, creamy flavor. Why do companies use stupid long words? That description, a mix of berries with ripe melon topped with rich whipped cream, perfect. Anyway, um, got this one on my trusty, and again, I can't remember what that stripper's called. It's a nice stripper though. And that one's running at 0.21 ohms, so let's have a good old whiffy whiffy. There's a nice summery, fruity, creamy, almost an ice creamy smell. Just put a couple of drops in. And I'm running this one at 90 watts and it's coming out at 0.21. Just open the uh, top air valve. <coughs> I tell you what, that's something that's not happened before. On the inhale of that, you actually get it in the back of your nose, in the back of your throat, and it tickles, it goes like Whoa! onto your nostrils. There's that water, watermelon y berry kick on the inhale. And then on that exhale, you're getting that that nice frothy whipped cream. You know, not like a squirty cream, but a proper full-on ice creamy jobby. Um, strawberries there. Quite, quite, quite a powerful sort of like a blueberry mix in that. Again, that is really nice. That just that's just smoothness all the way through. You're getting it on the inhale and that exhale, that cream is just following it right through. Again, another really nice juice. Um would I buy it? Yes, would I vape it all day? Definitely. Okay, so the last one. Now this is quite a strange one. It's Rice Crisp. It says Rice Crisps. So let me get you a description in there. One second. There we are. 
So the description is a delicious sweet cereal flavour with a vanilla layer throughout. The only bad thing about Rice Krispies is there's never enough of it. And this one, I'm running it at 100 on my iJoy with my mum, and it's coming out at 0.21. There's definitely a rice crispy smell to that. It's not like a snap crackle poppy rice crispy. It's more like, you know, like the ones you buy in the shops in the cereal bars. With like, you know, like the marshmallowy bit that you get in it. it smells nice. Quite like the top to this bit. Look, it always reminds me of like a little soldier's hat. Open event. There we go. And here we go. Just going to turn this up a bit. For some reason, with the eye joy compared to any other uh, mods, I seem to have to run this a little bit higher. I don't know why that is, because it's still the same power and it's still the, it's still a two batteries, but for some reason I've found since using this one that you have to run it sort of twenty watts more than what you would normally run it. Okay, so I'm now running it at 120 and it's coming out at 0.24. Wow, that's, <sighs> go to any shop, go to any supermarket, buy one of them Rice Krispie cereal bars, open up the packet, you get that smell, that sealed smell, and then you get, you bite into it, you get that crunch, that Rice Krispiness. And there's a, a marshmallowy texture on the exhale. Again, that's a very nice vape. Probably wouldn't vape that one all day as much as the other two. Um, that's just because I think subconsciously your brain's saying cereal bar, why are you vaping it at 10.56 p.m.? It's still a very nice vape. I'd probably give that one a 4 out of 5 just because I wouldn't have it all day. It's still very nice though. So I'll give you those guys information again. Their Twitter account is at Vape Wild. Their web address is www, all the w's, dot vapewild.com. Drop them a DM. They're doing loads of competitions and giveaways. Um, Really nice guys, really friendly. Sent me a DM once I won, asking me for my address. Took about a week, which, you know, for America's great. Just before I go, guys, I know. One of these days I'm going to see somebody else doing a review and say, that Barmy Brummy, that Telford Vapor, said to get yourself one of these. Best thing in the world. Why aren't people like the TPD pushing stuff like this? Now that's safety for you. Forget about bloody 10 mil size bottles. We're only going to just buy 10 times 10 mil bottles, you idiots. You know, let us buy whatever size we want. Yes, I agree that you need to re have some restrictions. Restrictions on stuff like batteries that can blow up. Not what bloody nicotine strength we have. Let us choose. We're allowed to choose. We're grown-ups. And breathe. Telford Vapor, out for now. Oh, <laughs>